let's see how Dam One Gaming can look as Fnatic's back. I can see, you see Reckless on the screen, but today it's the entire squad here. I guess they're in full formation and a nice one over to Caps. He's certainly a challenger. When that world's top 20 list comes out, we Still seeing electric guard. This is okay. Here we go. Uh, nuclear. Hello. Nuclear. Uh, you know, you're on the stage. This does matter. Okay. So just the realities of trying to make a mid-season move didn't make it happen. Is his trick? Well, the predator and the stun might just be enough. One more axe, but ooh, trick. mechanic that Ignal was trying to take advantage of. He goes back. Bot. No harm. No foul. As we're gonna see a two v two up top. Crazy is really low. Can they make this happen though? The perfect flash body slam. One uh -oh. more will do it. Nicely done by Punch. That's going to be first blood secured up in the top lane. And that flips the script in a big way. Remember, this is supposed to be BBQ's paddock. Crazy it goes down. Nice execution from Punch. Uh, it's uh -oh. going to be tricked now though. Showmaker, he doesn't have any summoners here. Trying to get the stun, but no, it's not going to be. still very comfortable for Dumb One. Showmaker here thinking about baiting Tempt on him. He does have his flash. We'll use it here. Have much more of a quiet landing phase. We're going for a top lane game. Here's the Abyssal Voyage. This voice comes in. It's going to be four on one in the top side. Once the Gragas gets here, the teleport's going to be committed to. That's going to be way too late as Ares makes his way on in. Trying to get on top of Hoyt, though. Do they have enough damage? No. He's just going to be able to flash away. One more axe will do it. Can he get it? It's going to be dodged for now. This Indra trying to get in there. Gonna turn on the showmaker though, who runs into two people and says, here, take my life, take me with you. I'd rather trade one back. Showmaker's map awareness is coming against him here a little bit in this level up into this competitive play at the highest level, just being caught a little bit too easily. Flash and heal only now available. Flash was up at the time. Trick walks up and actually gets the stun onto Ares. He flashes away because the teleport's coming in. It's actually Tom Kent's. They're gonna force out this Feather Storm. Do they have another engage here? It's here, Papa. And look at this. We got Ignorant uh -oh. Ares in a bush. They might be able to burst down Punch, but the Devour is there. Do they have the damage to come out of nuclear? Ignar still going for it, but that AP Gragas, nice little dodge there. By crazy. Ignar. We got Crazy coming from behind. The easiest beast of all time if he wants it. There it is. Just goes for the easy kill. And now they got Hoyt underneath this turret, but a nice little Olaf back. Still five members strong of BBQ. Looking for whatever they can get. Actually locked him down, but the Devourer is right there. All right, look at a scaling line up like this, and we'll hold the point for now. We're going to watch the replay. Punch has no information at all, and he says, is this brush okay? That one was fine, but the second one was the... Actually, it was the, end of the third one. Two barrels later, he gets the <laughs> bad news. He doesn't go down. Nuka doesn't have heal, so any more damage onto Punch and he would die. The turnaround comes here. Ignar, excellent. And moving away from this, but a super deep teleport, especially for how early into the game we're in. Gets crazy the kill. Nicely done from him. No more advantages other than the outer bot lane turret. But these are sort of ma moves that BBQ are incentivized to do. It doesn't it does. End. Interesting play in the mid lane well, at the we same are time. So far zoomed out. I know. The macro in. view. Okay, can they get a knock up here? The fishing trip that actually goes on Isaiah. Here's Ignar from behind. Looks like this time they might be able to get that Tom Kent. Yeah, the double stun comes at attempt. And that's right now dumb one setting up Baron Vision as cleanly as possible. Ignar again is on the fight, but for once he is actually swept out. How about this? We have Punch to find him. The cash, he's not in range, finally gets there, but he has to flash. Such a fun game to toggle vision on and off because of the types of play that Ignar is making. Is he on ultimate? Dumb one trying to force on their own. Yeah, looking for Tempt, who didn't have his uh, Banshee Veil available. And did force him to burn his flash. Right? Right. Maybe get the turret. It's been some good fool me once, fool me twice stuff from Dumb One, but you make one mistake doing this and you get flanked. Uh oh, you get silenced and that forces the devour, but a really nice engage there from Ignar. And they follow it up. Do they have the damage? Another great knockup from Crazy. And oh boy, there it is, Tempt. 
and Olaf together do enough damage to just pop the victor. You mentioned that disrespectful build, he just disappeared. Really pop off and show me what they're made of, and it's maybe it looks off. like Sh Showmaker's gonna show us something as it's three on one. Does a lot of damage to Ignar here, but he's getting near that beast range. Hoyt getting into it, but nice stun. Immediate cleanse comes out of Hoyt. Right, right, it just he wouldn't be able to use it, so he didn't have flash, didn't get punished, and now that's gonna be the Featherstorm use. Here's the Ono. Oh, this is gonna be easy to get that flash. It doesn't matter if he flashes, though, because Nuclear's right there. He talked about the machine gun. Almost takes out the Olaf on the backside. Has to flash away from that one. He's gonna be knocked out. Does Tempt have the range and the damage? No, he does not. They're going for it again. Still no cooldowns on Ares. And we got that frontline Hoyt getting on in there. This time it's the victor with the damage. Zaya, the TP comes in and they are gonna start it up here. We got the two carries, Showmaker and Nuclear trying to get in range. And they stop them from going for this Baron. Showmaker is gonna get engaged upon once again and the ultimate comes down. And the disrespect is shown again as he could not get in range. It gets just nobody no ults either. So they're just trying to get in range and spot what health this is at. Maybe Punch can get that steal. Still, the victor is not in this fight. You can see they have a decent amount of damage to get this pretty low, and they do have that succeed with the Feast. Trying to get the damage in, they gets the stun onto Noguri, trying to push them away. And they get it in the Feast range, and they do. The Olaf actually takes it out here. Ares now on the front line, looking for Noguri. Should be able to take him out easily. This particular Baron, apart from resetting the map a little bit, Olaf couldn't even take that bot lane down. Here's the engage. Oh, they're looking for punch here. He's going to get extremely low, but he does survive. The follow-up fight man knock up from Orn is going to be enough to get them out of dodge. See what happens here. They just end up being a 50-50. Now it is at 9,000. No flash here on Punch. He's just gonna have to body slam and gauge. And it looks like BBQ not yet ready to take that 50 50. Of course, they do have the Choga to help it out, but very, very passive on this one. BBQ once again. Gonna be zoned down here on the right side. They're not gonna back though. Kaisa in the mid lane looking to push that out and. Damwon Gaming actually doing a really nice job of delaying this out. BBQ have to do something because Damwon are either going to have Orn ultimate up or just take the inhibitor back again. BBQ trying to disengage and Damwon going to chase and try to delay. Ooh, Noguri gets knocked up in mid-dash and he has to flash again. What happened there? That was weird. Yeah, just awkwardly getting caught once again. Not the first time we've seen this here. The push is on in the mid lane. Nobody's really there to push it into the inhibitor, but I feel like that wave is big enough to get the job done. You don't know where Ignar is. He's on his flank, as always, gonna be spotted. Nice blue trinket, but let's watch that health. Remember the Cho'Gath secure. Orn is gonna be spotted in the top side, but he immediately teleports in the cast to try to get the Cho'Gath out, but it's not enough. Will he get the stun down? No, the spike comes in from Trick. In goes the Kaiser in the back line, but Ignor is taking too much damage. Look at that AoE on the side of BBQ. They're all extremely low from the Victor damage, and the chase is on the right The Winnians are on both sides. What happens if this continues seeing it teleport? In mid, they're going for it. Dominic Gaming, they want to stop the back. The minion wave's huge. Can they finish the game? I think they can. They have nuclear to the backside. They're trying to back right now, but the rest of Dominic Gaming is stopping them. Those turrets are extremely low. Showmaker, he gets the laser and the Zonias. It's going to be enough. Even though he dies, Dom1 Gaming take game number one. Dom1 Gaming in the clutch. Well, this was much closer than we were led to believe. BBQ controlled so much of the game. But when it was there to be won, one shot call at the end will end it. We saw the picture in picture. It wasn't enough because the minions were breaking the inhibitor line of Dom1 as the minions were just straight up winning the game. For Dom1 Gaming, they all smile and they all breathe a sigh of relief. Dumb one went against their usual win conditions and eked out a victory, but not one that you're going to want to talk about after the day is done. At the end of the day, Showmaker does his job. He didn't have the best laning phase. He didn't have the best mid game. He actually got caught out a bunch, but he got that final laser. He stopped the back from coming in. BBQ, definitely, I feel like, just too passive.